no matter what we do when how much to whom or no matter who does what to us sometimes there are certain areas in our life where we feel as if it's like a curse how do you define a curse well we shall see today uh, some placements uh, which are indicating a curse in a chart that could be in any particular area of your life or areas more than one area who knows okay and disclaimer this uh, video is going to be uh, a bit strong and a bit heavy uh, so if you are not used to hearing heavy stuff from my videos earlier then uh, maybe you should walk out of this video or else watch it at your own risk because there are things which i will tell you which uh, you may not like to hear or which you should not hear if you feel you are weak hearted or you can't take strong things okay so therefore viewers discretion is advised <laughs> so how do you define a curse a curse is like particular area of your life you feel like as if that area is under a curse if no matter what not you do you try by using your free will you just cannot improve that area you just can't it's like you have tried everything and anything that you can and that others have done before and you have tried the same it has worked for others but for you it just doesn't work and you have always changed the externals but still the result is the same for example uh, let's talk of married life sometimes people have uh, curse in their chart that uh, that they will have very difficult married lives and then what happens they get into a relationship then uh, they are not happy there then they get married then they are still not happy then they divorce they get into another relationship unhappy another marriage unhappy again relationship unhappy again marriage unhappy is the same with career sometimes you are doing a job not happy you are fired or you start your own business you go bankrupt all right so or it could be in matters of your health whatever you do what not just doesn't suffice okay so therefore today we shall discuss some combinations and some placements some conjunctions some aspects uh, uh, and if these placements are there in your chart uh, individually then it does not necessarily indi indicate a curse uh, very uh, clear disclaimer here because i know what you will do most of the people they are uh, only seeing youtube videos just superficially and they will see one placement and then like, oh my life is doomed should i will commit suicide by seeing your video you know my life is under curse okay so well if you want to then it's up to you but you must see the whole chart okay so don't generalize by seeing one thing but if most of these indicators are there and the overall chart also indicates then it could be likely that some area of your life uh, that that particular area is strongly under curse okay and as usual if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your career marriage or health then please go to my website you will find the link down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even if there is a curse in your chart so astrologically how do you identify a curse there are many rules given in the epics uh, one of the rules uh, which is very important which i have seen working is if a planet is afflicted by two or more natural malefics to repeat any planet which is afflicted by two or more natural malefics so who are the natural malefics we have saturn rahu ketu and mars okay sun also but let's keep sun aside so these are four are the natural malefics mangal rahu ketu shani so if you have a planet which uh, is conjunct any of these two planet uh, the, these four planets or they are been aspected by either of these two okay 
then uh, it could happen that that particular area of your life feels like a curse okay because um, these malefics show things which are very difficult to accept for a normal person okay like what does mars show mars will show uh, violence anger like abuse and all this okay beating somebody or abusing somebody with their uh, words or something like this you can still sometimes feel that okay yeah i can tolerate somebody becoming angry but imagine that person imagine your spouse not only gets angry and then there is rahu involved rahu is cheating imagine that person cheats on you and also becomes angry i mean that's very difficult okay so of course even if there is one malefic conjunct or aspecting it can still feel like a curse but when there are two or more malefics it becomes a curse officially which means it becomes unbearable which means that area starts affecting all other areas of your life okay so if one planet is afflicting uh, suppose your seventh lord or venus or the lagna lord or your moon then you might feel that yes life is tough but you are still able to carry on and uh, do other things normally okay even if that area feels like a curse but if there are two or more malefics then your whole life itself feels like a curse because that area becomes um, that that area consumes you uh, totally and then you are unable to function normally okay so therefore this can be an indication of curse this is actually and this can also happen if a planet is conjunct a malefic and another malefic aspects okay then also this can happen because either ways afflictions uh, come through conjunctions or aspects okay so suppose your venus is being uh, aspected by rahu and it is conjunct saturn then also this can happen or it's conjunct saturn rahu okay either ways it happens and uh, this is uh, one of the indicators and the second indicator of a curse is uh, and when i say uh, venus i don't just mean venus this can also come if the lord of the second uh, the lord of the seventh house is undergoing this okay so it could happen that your seventh lord you are a leo lagna and your seventh lord is saturn and this same saturn although he is a natural malefic but he himself might be conjunct mars and rahu then also you will feel this okay because it could happen that your seventh lord itself is a malefic so your seventh lord could be uh saturn or it could be mars so if they are also conjunct other malefics then also you can feel this especially when it comes to marriage okay so therefore don't just blindly see venus or uh, don't just check the lagna chart or the navamsha don't just do this you you check the lord of the house and pertaining to that event so if you're talking of marriage then you need to check the second lord is the second lord involved in a curse or the seventh lord or the lord of the 11th house okay they will give you clues about your married life and uh, now um, so similarly if you are talking of career the lord of the second sixth tenth and 11th if they are somehow involved in a curse then uh, you could feel the same when it comes to your career okay mm. now what is the next indication that uh, the the curse may be there now you might have some of these connections or you might have many of these in some of your planets okay because uh, in kali yuga it's uh, it is said in the scripture that um, taking birth in kali yuga itself is like a curse why because uh, there is no dharma here there is no uh, spirituality in kali yuga it's going downhill day by day okay people are becoming more and more animalistic they are uh, becoming more and more aggressive they are becoming more and more uh, what not <laughs> right so all the negativity is coming up in kali yuga and that's what kali yuga is meant for after all and all the back ben- back benches of spirituality are sitting in kali yuga so this is bound to happen as things progress like kali yuga is 4 lakh 32000 years and only 5000 years have passed so 4 lakh 28 27000 years are still remaining and every day it will get worse okay so 
बट ऑफ कोर्स द श्रीमद भागवतम से कलेर दो शनि धेरा जन अस्ति ही एकान महत गुणान कीर्तना देव कृष्ण से मुक्त संग परम व्रजेत परीक्षित महाराज इज टोल्ड बाय सुखदेव गोस्वामी हु इज द सन ऑफ व्यास देव एंड परीक्षित महाराज इज द ग्रैंड सन ऑफ द पांडवास ओके सन ऑफ अभिमन्यु एंड उत्तरा सो ही इज बीइंग टोल्ड बाय सुखदेव गोस्वामी दैट कलयुग इज एन ओशन ऑफ फॉल्स बट चैंटिंग द होली नेम्स ऑफ गॉड लॉर्ड कृष्ण मुक्त संग परम व्रजेत यू कैन ऑप्टेन फ्रीडम फ्रॉम ऑल मिसरीज ओके so this is the first indicator natural malefics then which is the second indicator the second indicator is if the eighth lord is involved okay so what is the eighth lord eighth lord uh, eighth house is the uh, four house of curse okay planet in the eighth or uh, if the eighth lord is involved in this curse which means suppose uh, you have a planet which is uh, aspected uh, by one malefic and the eighth lord is conjunct and even if the eighth lord is a natural benefic then also this can feel like a curse okay so or if the eighth lord is aspecting even then this happens even if uh, he is a natural benefic okay even then even if he is jupiter or venus even then it can happen okay so um then you know or if this planet is sitting in the 8th house itself okay because then um that also holds true because the 8th house is the house of uh, hopelessness and helplessness the 8th house is the graveyard so i have made many videos on the 8th house uh, please watch them i'll put them here okay now now uh, what is the next indication of curse the next indication is uh suppose a planet is having these afflictions or conjunctions but also the planet is combust okay combustion is another indication of uh, a curse why now combustion is not necessarily a very bad curse it could be bad or good depending on the chart but when combustion why, why at all combustion is a curse you can see it this way that when you are having when when a planet is combust it means uh sun is demanding some sacrifice from you because sun is purifying that planet so that means there are impurities in that planet and because of the those impurities you suffer okay so combustion will not be bad combustion this point number 3 will not be like a curse if you uh if you can uh be detached from things if you can make the sacrifice when it is required if you cannot make sacrifice then ah, combustion is yes it's really terrible it it can make you feel as if life is like a curse okay and this can this this holds true for every planet uh, not only 7th house or 10th lord or 10th 10th house or venus this can hold true for 5th house also okay that can create issues within your love romance relationships or there could be violence if mars is involved all all these things are there okay saturn involves uh, abandonment okay you are abandoned by somebody you have been ditched you have been ghosted by somebody suddenly somebody disappears that's typical saturn because saturn represents those who are left behind okay so typically if saturn is involved in a curse then now uh, people then there are chances that you might be abandoned okay in that area of your life okay anyways so and yes as i said uh, rahu represents shock uh, it's like cheating okay you expected something and something else happened the person turned out to be something else okay or politics uh, and all this so mars is violence and anger aggression frustration domination control sub uh, to you are forced to be submissive uh, to somebody and saturn as i said is abandonment uh, dislike hatred uh, or saturn is not exactly hatred that's more of uh, uh, saturn mars hatred is more of saturn mars but saturn alone can be disinterest you know your spouse is like just disinterested in you he or she has no interest they are just staying in the married life just because society has told them to stay all right 
and ketu also is a natural malefic when it comes to this ketu can create a lot of confusion ketu can give you this feeling as if i don't know what i should do should i uh, stay in this career or if the seventh lord is involved then should i stay with this person or should i not what will happen if i stay what will happen if i don't stay all these things can come from ketu so ketu is also a natural malefic involved in that okay so combustion is uh, gone and and yes uh, if you consider the degrees of these malefics like saturn rahu ketu and mars now uh, who is the most malefic among them yes it is none other than saturn because saturn is uh, saturn is basically when somebody ignores you somebody doesn't uh, pay heed to you not not to your ego but somebody just dismisses you you know you feel that i just don't exist my entire life is of no good use i'm good for nothing or you feel that i'm useless <laughs> in modern days terminology that's what saturn is and that's most painful for the ego actually okay and when saturn is well placed then it can show humility being down to earth being uh, considerate about others and all this but 99% of the times people are uh, you will never hear people telling that oh saturn made me humble it always humiliates you and makes you humble okay there's a big difference between humility and humiliation okay both make you humble but humility is uh, when you you are naturally humble okay but humiliation means your ego has been pumped <laughs> okay so both the traits are represented by saturn but it depends on how saturn is and what things are going on in the chart okay and so we discussed malefics then the eighth lord then combustion now there's another way to determine if this curse is very strong or not by seeing if the atma karaka is involved atma karaka is the planet of the highest degree in the chart okay if the atma karaka is also involved in this oh my god this is a very terrible curse okay this is something which will permanently change you have, have you uh, heard people telling ki uh, this happened and i totally changed as a person you know this event that happened in my life you know totally changed me and i was i am not the same person that i was that i used to be once upon a time now i am totally a different person uh why that happens because the atma karaka is involved when the atma karaka is involved uh for combustion as i told you something which you like very much will be taken away from you the sun takes it away okay because of your uh, sins basically or to purify you because of some curse which somebody might have given and then the atma karaka is like it really hurts your soul it leaves such a deep uh, scar in your consciousness that till the end of your life you can never forget that okay uh, especially i have seen if venus is involved in a curse and atma karaka is involved Okay. the atma karaka is conjunct venus or something or the atma karaka is a malefic who is aspecting venus or the atma karaka is also conjunct venus so then the atma karaka himself goes under curse <clears throat> no in all these circumstances uh i have heard i have heard and seen people telling that you now there was uh, one person who they really wanted to marry but then that didn't happen and that person is uh, they had such a karmic interaction with this person that till the end of their life they are not able to forget this person no matter what happens they are always miserable they are like oh i wish i could have just stayed with this person uh, or that person didn't want them back or that person died or something like something very terrible happening okay so it leaves a permanent mark on your consciousness okay so these these are the indications of um, curses and uh, curses are really very difficult and uh, luckily our vedic scriptures give lot of uh, weightage on you know spiritual practices and all this so therefore uh, it is good if you have the lords of the 5th and the 9th or natural 9th lord 5th lord who is jupiter i mean sorry the 9th lord alone jupiter uh linked with these planets okay why do i say this because then it shows that by doing certain remedies depending on your horoscope 
you can uh, to some extent get out of this curse in a way not externally but uh, in a way that you are able to con uh, carry on in the other areas of your life okay so career is not working then at least you are married you have a good married life or marriage is not working at least you have a decent career okay uh, but if the fifth lord or the ninth lord or jupiter is not involved then this becomes really like the shackles uh, as they say like, like a chains it becomes like a snake which catches you and you can do nothing about it okay so therefore um you all the people in this world you will always have some planet or the other who is in some kind of curse because mars aspects three houses saturn aspects three houses rahu aspects the fifth and the ninth you have a eighth lord okay and you have the atma karaka so and you have sun who can come bust okay so you will never find a horoscope now uh, where there are no curses very rarely you will find okay and very rarely that is why you find somebody who has a very happy life and there are no problems okay but there are uh, these are superficial indications of curses but there are curses at a deeper level also when you go to the level of the nakshatra which i will uh, explain in some other video that is like the actual curse if these things are there you may have the curse uh, i mean definitely you will have but that may be still bearable but the next video which i'll make which will be on nakshatras if the nakshatra lords are associated then my god it becomes really very severe the, so then uh, in that video i'll explain what actually is uh, what is actually it's like to have a curse okay but yes you can let me know in the comments if at all i should make that video otherwise if you feel this video has become too much negative then i will not make that video again okay uh, it's up to you uh, depending on your feedback i will decide if that video has to be made okay so therefore uh, if you have a planet which is under curse then you need to do the remedies pertaining to the grahas and the planets depending on your chart and if you do that then situation can improve okay so it's not fatalistic that uh, okay my planet is under curse and i just can't do anything okay so therefore look at the whole chart sometimes a curse can be very good for a chart okay like suppose if a person uh is uh has a very strong sixth house okay which means the person might live like a celibate so in that case if a person has uh venus under curse or the seventh lord is under curse then what can happen is the person wants to marry but nobody wants to marry him or somehow the marriage doesn't happen so temporarily he feels very uh, very much pain but then later on he goes to live uh, alone or maybe goes and joins a monk uh, a temple he lives like a monk okay so then this curse became uh, a blessing actually okay but that also has to be indicated in the chart how to see if a curse is actually a curse or a blessing okay or sometimes a blessing can be a big curse okay so therefore you need to identify from the chart not individually don't individually judge these placements and say oh my uh, second lord is afflicted by two malefics so then that means my family life is ruined my childhood is ruined no not necessarily that could happen but overall how does it impact you in your life okay of course uh, the lessons will come the hard way if a planet is under curse but and does it mean that you have to uh, live with that experience whole life uh, well that depends on the chart okay so i guess uh, this video would have triggered many emotions within you uh, so many past wounds might have come back so uh, yeah that's how life is and therefore we really need to do spiritual practices and read the bhagavad gita chant mantras read the shrimad bhagavatam uh, associate with uh, sadhus holy people uh, uh, join a spiritual community in the weekends uh, and visit there so that even when these curses are there we find a higher purpose in life which is beyond all these material curses okay because these grahas and planets and the horoscopes they can only touch you till the level of your materialistic karma they have no jurisdiction when it comes to your spiritual life okay so spiritual progress 
has happens irrespective of you have a good or a bad horoscope okay it has nothing to do with your dashas transits or anything of that sort okay so therefore if you if at all you have a curse or you feel that some area of life of your life is fully under curse then you have to understand that there may be things which i may not be able to change externally but yes i can get above all the, all this by doing spiritual practices by which i understand that yes this life that i see this body this mind this is not all in all i am spirit soul as krishna says in the gita and i am beyond all this i am satchit ananda okay ananda mayo bhyasad as the vedanta sutra says okay so that is the only remedy for a curse and this is the permanent remedy which always works all other remedies you do some graha mantras you do some puja blah 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 all these things you do they will help you to some extent but ultimately you will be miserable so till the time you do not elevate yourself spiritually these curses and all superficial remedies uh, which might also work uh, to some extent will still make you miserable at the end of the day okay so do not waste your life doing some petty useless astrological remedies they just don't work even if they work but they don't make you a happy person ultimately okay because our vision is corrupted when you say i want to do a remedy for venus or for moon then our vision itself is corrupted you know we do not take responsibility and we think this planet is outside entity you know and then it has nothing to do with who we are which is actually not the case because this planet reflects the energy which is already there inside us okay so therefore any astrological remedy that you do if you want to know if it is good uh, bona fide or not then you have to check if that involves a tangible change in your habits okay feeding crows feeding ducks feeding uh, dogs feeding strangers they they will not help you honestly <laughs> because everybody any criminal can say that okay like for example many times people say oh easiest remedy for saturn you know keep feeding crows but why at all saturn is giving you trouble because you have abused your power whenever you abuse power you you pull down somebody you denigrate somebody then saturn doesn't spare you so do you think that if you have abused somebody physically mentally verbally in the past and you now go and keep feeding crows do you think that karma will go away no not necessarily definitely not feeding crows will give you uh your that will increase your punya okay that will increase your uh, uh good deeds which is a separate account but that will not nullify the sins that you have committed towards uh, saturnian people which means towards your subordinates okay or anybody who is in in a inferior position than you anybody who is helpless anybody who is old anybody who is uh, not able to help themselves okay these people are represented by saturn so if saturn is troubling you if people are giving those vibes that means you we have definitely done something to those people which saturn represents okay and the that cannot be mitigated by uh, feeding crows or by feeding uh like for uh, ketu or sometimes rahu they say keep feeding dogs but it just doesn't work all right so therefore the only remedy for curses is that you have to elevate yourself spiritually and you have to understand that life is much beyond all this what i see what i feel what i think okay ultimate purpose of life is to go back to the spiritual world and have an eternal life we got there okay so for that we have to do the spiritual practices and have a healthy association with the spiritual community which is very important all right so do that at the earliest if you have courses and do not worry god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much